Reynolds Middle School is transitioning to distance learning for the next two weeks, but it is not because of a COVID-19 outbreak. In a letter to parents, the middle school says students have been disrupting learning in the classroom. And now at noon, we have new information from district officials. Fox News Mia Villanueva reports from Fairview. We're learning more about the nature of the disruptions in classrooms here at Reynolds Middle School. Officials with the district say there were outbursts from students in multiple classrooms that in some instances led to fights. Officials say some teachers were not equipped to handle those outbursts on their own. The impacts of the pandemic on students have come to a boiling point at Reynolds Middle School. So there were, you know, outbursts in the classroom. Uh, there were a few fights. Teachers were concerned uh, other uh, for other students as well as for their well-being. Take a look at this letter sent to parents from Reynolds School District Superintendent Dr. Donna Diaz. It reads, quote, some students are struggling with the socialization skills necessary for in-person learning, which is causing disruption in school for other students. Steve Padilla, Assistant Director of Public Relations for the district, says the impacts of the pandemic have worn out teachers too. And then they're coming back and then not only teaching, but then having to be, uh, you know, looking at the protocols, making sure the students are wearing their masks. It does take an effect not only on our students, but on our teachers as well. Padilla says shifting to distance learning for for two weeks gives both teachers and students the chance to hit the reset button before returning to the classroom on December 7th. We asked Padilla what will happen over the course of the next two weeks to ensure a safer learning environment for students. He says they're calling on multiple resources to help them address students' social and emotional health. We're looking at social and emotional support uh, skills. We're looking at uh, TOSAs, teachers on special assignment uh, to come in to help. Uh, we're working uh, with our counselors to see, you know, how we could provide more services for the students uh, and for the teachers. Uh, and we're looking at, you know, seeing if we can have more staff available, uh, you know, in the hallways, uh, in the classrooms. Padilla says the district heard from parents who are not in support of the district's decision and questioned why the students who disrupted the classroom were not punished individually. Padilla says that's because those disruptions may have a domino effect on the well-being of other students in the classroom. We want to make sure that what we're doing is for the entire uh, community at Reynolds uh, Middle School. We ask for patience from everybody. Padilla says he doesn't know the nature of those fights, whether they were physical or verbal, nor how many students were involved. Padilla says it would be up to the principal here at Reynolds Middle School to decide if those students face any individual consequences. For now, reporting from Fairview, I'm Mia Villanueva, Fox 12, Oregon. Reynolds School District has a board meeting tonight. Members of the board will get the chance to weigh in on how the middle school should move forward during the two-week period.